Hey guys, do you like that image in the eye effect? Well, let's do it in Resolve. Okay, so we've got the two clips here that I want to use. The first one is just a standard clip of an eye, uh, and I've got a blink right there. Okay, so one blink, and then the secondary clip is just of uh, two kids here. All right, so what I want to do is I want this, as soon as it blinks, I want it to, uh, this image here to appear. So I'm going to line this up right about there. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I just want to make sure that there's a little overlap, okay? So what we're going to do next is to, we're going to, Wait till it's completely open, and I'm going to go ahead right there. I'm going to go into our color section, and I've already pre-done uh, some uh, grading here, so just ignore that. But we're going to add an, another node for the mask. We're going to go in here to Power Windows. I'm going to set uh, select the curve. What I want to do here, I'm going to zoom in. What I found is what works best is if you go slightly outside, just a little bit larger than the iris. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I found this, you know, if it's a little rounded, it tends to work a little better. So next we're going to right click here and add an alpha output. Let's go ahead and connect it up. And we're going to invert it here. All right, so there's our image. Now what we want to do is to add a little softening here. What I'm going to do here is uh, set this to roughly 0.9. I'm going to play around with this inside here. Let's let's start here around, around three and a half or so. Now let's go to full screen and see how that looks. All right, so you can see very quickly it looks pretty, uh, it's pretty uniform. We may want to expand it a little bit or, or shrink it a little bit as you see fit, but I'm just going to clean up that corner right over here. And right about there. Let's try the right about there. Up. All right, that's a little better. I may want to adjust it, but I'm just going to leave it there for now. Don't worry about the opacity here. Uh, we'll fix that later, and it actually will make this effect even look uh, more authentic. Now, the next thing we want to do is control when we turn it on. So if you look here, if we advance the cursor, we obviously don't want this uh, power window mask on here. We probably want it to start to, to turn on here and and maybe have the opacity increase. So I'm going to set a keyframe right here. So this is corrector three. We're going to select the keyframe. I'm going to just register a keyframe here by turning this on and off. Back up one keyframe, and we're going to turn it off. So that way it's off for the entire point up until roughly we want it to be on. And then we can continue from there. OK? So let's now, let me go back to this position. Let's play around with the opacity. Actually, before I do opacity, let me come back to that. You notice the eye does move. So we want to be able to track that. Okay, so as soon as it's the eye is fully open, which it looks like it is right about here, right about there, let's track this so that it stays aligned. So I'm going to open this up, the tracker. We're going to do cloud tracker, which is default. We're going to do the clip, but we're going to only start it from this position. So from that position, I'm going to track forward. And then I'm going to track backwards. And it should stop right at that keyframe. Perfect because we don't want it to track before we even open the eye. It wouldn't even follow it very well. So, okay. So with that, 
Now let's go ahead into the opacity. So we're going to go back into edit. And in edit, we're going to select this clip that we want the opacity to increase. Now, first of all, I don't want 100% of opacity. All right, so we're going to, first of all, dial that down to where we want it when it's full. So I'm going to play around with that. That looks pretty good. You know, about 40%, 40 to 50% is usually pretty good. Maybe we'll just leave it here about 45 or so, okay? And so what we want it to do is to slowly... As the eye opens, I actually want it to kind of fade up or to uh, increase the opacity slowly. So what I'm going to do is right at this point where we have it open, I'm going to put a keyframe in for the opacity. And then I'm going to go right about here and basically turn it off. All right. So... What we have here is it very slowly coming on. And if I have certain sound effects, you know, you can make it so that it's being activated or something. Okay. Again, you can play around with that as you see fit. Let's go back to the color section. Okay. So if you look closely here, I actually have this image here. That's not the image I want in the eye. I actually prefer to have one of the kids here. Uh, visible. So what we're going to do to to correct that is we're going to select the secondary clip. We're going to go into sizing, and let me adjust this so that it's with the eye open. And now all we have to do is to adjust the node sizing here. We're going to adjust the pan. We're just basically going to adjust the position until we can get uh, the individual in the image. Okay. So adjust it here. You notice here that we have the bottom of the clip. So if you have this issue, there is a way to track this. So otherwise it looks okay to me. What I would have recommended, what I should have done to begin with, since this uh, image here isn't still, it wasn't shot on a tripod, I should have stabilized this. So if you go into the uh, stabilizer for resolve, uh, You'll notice here under, let's use this, the uh, the new uh, stabilizers, I would have selected similarity because that does the X and Y axis. Stabilize this image first, then do your mask, and then it would have tracked a lot better. Uh, I didn't do that, so it will actually invalidate all the work I did in the eye mask, and I'm not going to redo it. But I think you get the point of what we're trying to do here. Just because I didn't do that, I'm going to adjust this node sizing so that it at least uh, fits inside of. Yeah, let's just leave it like that. Okay, so I think you get the point. So that's really it. Now, this works best with dark eyes and where you have a low contrast uh, scene or image inside. Now, let's say that you've got light color eyes and maybe a, a high contrast image. Well, in that case, we're going to need to take a different approach uh, to the masking. So I'm going to go and get another eye. So this eye is a light colored eye. And we're going to simply just use a new copy of that. All right. So I'm going to take it here and just do that. All right. OK, so now. Instead of the eye being on top, we actually want to put the inside image on top. So that's a key difference with this effect. Okay. The next thing we want to do, actually, I'm going to make a compound clip out of this because it's just a still image. So I need to uh, do that so that it has more video properties. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is for the top clip, which is going to be inside, we're going to go into Inspector and we're going to select composite mode I'm going to change this to overlay okay now for this for you to get the uh, transparency and that's what we're going for because of the light color eye or high contrast scene you need to you need a little more transparency and so the best way to get that is actually by doing it this way so you can either use multiply you can use normal or even uh, overlay in this case, I've seen it work best with overlay. So I'm going to do that. 
And so now this sets us up to do the mask. Now, don't worry about this right now. Uh, we're going to correct that here in a minute. So we're going to go into color. Okay, so what we want to do now is to select the inside clip. And now we're going to draw our mask. So go to our power window. We'll do our curve again. I'm just going to go the outline of the eye. Uh, we'll just throw a little softness here, a little inside here. Again, like I showed you before, you can clean that up later. But we're just going to focus here on getting the image inside of the eye. So we want to select the alpha output. Go ahead and connect that up. Notice I didn't have to do an inversion here. So now you can see the image inside of the eye. So if we go to full screen, it looks pretty good, as you can see with the overlay. And you see the reflection of the eye, so you get that transparency uh, that you may need for a light color eye and or with a high contrast scene in the back. Okay. Now, in order for us to center the image, um, we're going to go into sizing. Now this time we'll still do node sizing, and we'll adjust, um, do zoom first, zoom out. Oops, before I do that, actually, I have to uh, click this box that says key lock. All right, so now it's actually zooming right out, and I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to leave it maybe a little to the side so I can see his face. I'm just going to leave it there for uh, purposes of this tutorial. So if we go back to the edit section, now we can kind of play around with this um, opacity as we see fit. You can kind of see some different effects here. If you want to see more of the eye, you, you, you dial it down. If you want to see less, then you dial it up. But even with this uh, different approach to the mask, you can see the, the reflection of the eye, and so it's more transparent. If I were to switch this to multiply, you can kind of see how that does. It's a little darker. Um, if I were to switch this to uh, normal, uh, it's actually a little brighter. Uh, but you get the transparency. So you can kind of get a, a feel for the different ways in which you can kind of adjust this. I'm going to stick with overlay. And um, as you can see with overlay, you you don't have to be as accurate with the masking. If you want to add a little flair to this, perhaps maybe zoom into this image. Well, you can do that also. The first thing I'd recommend you do is to split the second clip or get a copy of that second clip, either one. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to split it and then uh, group these two into a compound clip. Reset this opacity back so that it's new and then also go back into that clip and we're going to reset the, the sizing. Okay. Now from here, it's just the standard zoom effect as in my tutorial and I'll leave a link up above but the reason why you want to put these two as a compound clip is so that the image inside stays together with the eye as you're zooming in so that's why that's important okay if you got any questions please leave those in the comments below otherwise just please leave a like and if you're not a subscriber hit that subscribe button as well as the the bell so that you get notified whenever I do a new a tutorial peace